The leaders of the United States and Germany on Thursday announced they were sending armored fighting vehicles to Ukraine, ramping up military support for Kiev to repel Russian forces after a similar move by France earlier this week. In a joint statement, after a call between President Joe Biden and Chancellor Olaf Scholz, the United States said it would provide Ukraine with Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, while Germany would provide Marder infantry fighting vehicles. Both countries agreed to train Ukrainian soldiers on how to use them, it said, while Germany would also supply a Patriot air defense battery to Ukraine, which has scored some battlefield successes since Russian forces invaded last February, but has asked allies for heavier weapons to defend itself. President Biden and Chancellor Scholz expressed their common determination to continue to provide the necessary financial, humanitarian, military, and diplomatic support to Ukraine for as long as needed, the statement said. The decision was announced after Scholz's government faced a chorus of calls from within his three-way coalition to beef up military support for Ukraine. Ukraine after France announced it was sending light AMX 10RC armored combat vehicles. Scholz has ramped up defense spending and sent aid and weapons to Ukraine since the invasion, but has, like other Western powers, sometimes hesitated before supplying powerful weapons for fear of risking direct conflict with Russia. He has also made it clear that he did not want to go it alone on sending heavy weapons to Ukraine and that he would coordinate deliveries with other members of the NATO alliance. On a visit to London, German Foreign Minister Anna-Lena Baerbock said Ukraine must be given weapons not only to defend itself, but also to liberate areas under Russian occupation. Jetzt wird links genebelt.